Hi, I'm Paul from P23 Productions. Today we're gonna to talk about room reverb. Some people refer to this as echo, and it can really ruin a recording, especially when you're trying to create content as a professional. The good thing is, if you're listening to this recording right now, you're hearing some process going on, and that's happening with Accentize D-Room that you can purchase at FX Factory. Now, the good news about this plugin is that it's compatible with Premiere Pro, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, Apple Logic, GarageBand, and many other apps. Now I'm gonna show you some examples. I'm gonna show you how simple and effective the plugin can be. And I'm also gonna walk you through on how I like to dial it in. So let's get to it. All right, so right now I'm in my home studio recording a voiceover using a professional microphone running through a preamp that's using a little bit of compression and nothing else. Now I hope you guys are on headphones so you can hear the difference. Even though this room is treated, it's not perfect. And you should be hearing the difference that D-Room is making as I switch the plugin on and off. All right, so let's go somewhere else where we can find more issues. All right, so now I'm sitting under some high ceilings in front of this condenser microphone, and this is probably the wrong microphone to be using in this setting because you're gonna pick up more of the room and a lot more of the ambient noise around you. Now, what I like to do in situations like this is I'll add a little bit of denoising with D-Room and that should help clean up the audio a little bit more. Oh, and I'm also wearing this lavalier mic that I just switched to. And now you're starting to hear the difference between the condenser and the lavalier mic. You should also be hearing the difference when I bypass D-Room. And I think you guys are starting to realize the value of this plugin. In case you didn't notice, I've been using different software and I did this to show you how D-Room is compatible with most video editing and digital audio workstations. Okay, so you saw the examples that I did. Now let me show you how I like to use the plugin and where I like to start off when I'm dialing it in. I have another piece of audio that I recorded, so let's check that out. All right, so here we are in Twisted Wave with D-Room 2 opened up at its default settings and we have dialogue enhanced off to the side. At some point, I'm gonna use a little bit of the noise reduction in here, um, but we're not really gonna focus on this plugin today. Today is all about D-Room 2. Now, with this piece of audio, I record it poorly on purpose with an iPhone under some high ceilings. Now, the plugin is set to its default settings with sensitivity at 50% and reduction is set to all the way. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is probably the ballpark of where you're gonna be and probably where you wanna start. Let's play with the plugin first and then we'll add a little bit of noise reduction just to clean up the audio a little bit more. All right, so I'm recording this audio with my iPhone in my living area where there's high ceilings while this may be an extreme case of having to deal with reverb, I wanted to use this as an example to see how far we can push D-Room. All right, so I'm recording this audio with my iPhone in my living area where there's high ceilings. While this may be an extreme case of having to deal with reverb. All right, so I'm going to activate the noise reduction just so you guys can get a feel for what it would sound like without noise. I wanted to use this as an example to see how far we can push D-Room. All right, so I'm recording this audio with my iPhone in my living area where there's high ceilings. While this may be an extreme case of having to deal with reverb, I wanted to use this as an example to see how far we can push D-Room. All right, so... One of the things with this plugin is that I don't like to push this plugin or any plugin that's uh, repairing noise. I don't like pushing them too far. I'll do it now here in a minute just so you can hear what it sounds like. What I like to do is I just want to improve my audio. Sometimes you're at a point where you're just like, you know, I can't go back and re-record. I can't do this over, but I could try to make this better. And I think D-Room accomplishes that most of the time. All right, so I'm recording this audio with my iPhone in my living area where there's high ceilings. While this may be an extreme case of having to deal with reverb, I wanted to use this as an example to see how far we can push D-Room. Now, for me, that was a little bit too far to push it, but again, um, your ears are different than mine. You might actually want to push this further. So I would say download it, do the trial, and, and I really don't think you're going to be disappointed with this plugin. All right, so I'm recording this audio with my iPhone in my living area where there's high ceilings. While this may be an extreme case of having to deal with reverb, I wanted to use this as an example to see how far we can push D-Room. So once again, you can purchase D-Room at the FX Factory store. I hope you found this video useful. Stay healthy and stay safe.